Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gareth from the Master 974 back again today and welcome to another Valve Source Code tutorial video. And what I'm going to do today is outline how you can add Iron Sights into your Source 2013 mod. Now, I do need to give a big ups and thank you to the following people for giving this suggestion. So I need to give a thank you to Nori, to Eagle Mod, to Murad and to Neonix. Thank you very much for the suggestions and as you can see some of these comments were posted a few months ago sorry for the delay but let's get into the video now what i do need to start off with is that this guide might be a bit all over the place with going to files here and there and everywhere that would just be as a result of the way the guide is structured and i'm going to be using a valve developer wiki guide and it is the one called adding iron sites because well there's two iron sites guides so I'm going to be going with the guide called Adding Iron Sites because it allows for stuff like client and server networking as well as having more features like the ability to adjust the pitch, yaw and roll of the view model as opposed to just the position of the view model as well as altering the FOV of the player when, you know, using the Iron Sights. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this video. So as per usual, you just want to go to your source code directory, open up the games solution file, and then you want to open up the file weapon underscore pass dot h, and inside of the file weapon info underscore t struct, I guess this would be, uh, you just want to add a vector called vec iron sight pass offset, a q angle called ang iron sight ang offset and a float called FL Iron Sight FOV Offset. And then you want to go to the weapon underscore pass.cpp file, and inside of the file weapon info underscore t colon colon pass section, right near the bottom of the file, you can add what I'm going to be showing in the video. It's just a copy paste job, but essentially it creates a pointer to key values which finds the key iron sight which is going to need to be inside of the weapon script for the weapons that you want to have iron sights with and if that key value is found then it just finds the sort of key values and their values and assigns the values to the key values parameter essentially is what's going on and if it doesn't find the key value iron sight, then it just gives stock values to the uh, variables that we added to the .h file. So for example, you can go to the weapon smg1.txt file, which would be in your mods, you know, mods script folder. And near the bottom after the uh, like hood detail stuff that, you know, defines the hood textures to use, you can add iron sight and then inside the curly brackets, and then all of this is inside of separate speech marks, but you can add forward minus 10, right minus 6.91, up 0.185, roll minus 20, and FOV minus 20, as you'll see in the video. So now you want to go to base combat weapon underscore shared dot cpp, and beneath the hashtag if defined tf dll and then defined tf client dll. Uh, you want to add hashtag if def client underscore dll then hashtag include c underscore base player dot h and then hashtag end if and then you want to go to base combat weapon underscore shared dot h and inside of the public section where there's a bunch of functions and you can just see where i put this in the video if it helps but you want to add a vector function called get iron site position offset passing through void inputs, but then you want to add the const keyword after it. And then a Q angle called get iron size angle offset, again, passing through void inputs with the const keyword after it. And a float called get iron size FOV offset, again, passing through void inputs with the const keyword after it. Then you want to go back to base combat weapon shared.cpp and somewhere in the file you can see exactly where I put this in the video but it's another copy paste job but when you do this you're going to get errors because there's convar definitions and we actually haven't defined any of the convars so again you can follow the guide that I'm going to leave in the description there's basically the definitions of the convars that you can just select, copy, paste into your file near the top of the file. I'd put these uh, convars. You can see that in the video. 
And because a couple of the convars use uh, custom callbacks, we need to actually, you know, expand on the callbacks. So that's going to be another copy paste job. Then if you want to add toggle functions, then what you need to do is go to base combat weapon shared.h and you want to add two networked variables. So you want to create a C network var of type ball and call it m underscore b is iron sighted and a C network var of type float and call it m underscore fl iron sighted time. Then you want to go to base combat weapon shared.cpp and inside of the constructor for C base combat weapon, you want to add m underscore b is iron sighted equals false and m underscore fl iron sighted time equals 0 0.0f. Then inside of the network table for dt underscore base combat weapon, and you can see where I place this in the video, that you want to add a send prop ball of send info of m underscore b is iron sighted and a send prop float of send info of m underscore fl iron sighted time and below that there should be the uh, rec v table and you want to add a rec v prop int of rec v info of m underscore b is iron sighted and then after that zero and rec v proxy underscore toggle site and a rec v prop float of rec v info of m underscore fl iron sighted time. So this rec v proxy function is going to need to be defined. So what you can do is just copy and paste this function from the guide and paste it above the uh, network table so you can see where uh, uh, whereabouts I put this in the video. And if you're going down the road of making this for multiplayer, then you want to go to the prediction table for a C-based combat weapon. You can do a search for something like define pred field. And in that section, you want to add define pred field of m underscore b is iron sighted as a field boolean. And the f type is f type desk underscore in send table and define pred field of m underscore fl iron sighted time as a field float and again it's f type desk underscore in send table and if you want the variables to be in the save game then you can add these variables to the data desk as define field of m underscore b is iron sighted as a field boolean and define field of m underscore fl iron sighted time as a field float then if you go back to base combat weapon shared.h, you can add accesses for the iron sight variables. Again, I'm just being lazy and copying and pasting the functions from the guide. And similarly in base combat weapon shared.cpp, you can copy and paste what is from the guide into your file essentially, it just expands the uh, functionality for the iron sight. And if you want to add the actual toggle command, then you need to copy and paste what is in the guide. And I decided to put it inside of the base combat weapon underscore shared dot cpp file. And then you need to go to player dot cpp, which is on the server. You can do control F to find the client command function. And at the bottom, at the end of like the whole if else, if else, if else, if stuff. Uh, you want to add else if scri cmp of cmd comma then in speech marks toggle underscore iron sight is exactly equal to zero and you'll see exactly how to do that in the video then you want to do c base combat weapon called asterisk p weapon equals get active weapon and then if p weapon does not equal null then p weapon arrow toggle iron sights and then return true then if you want to add the ability for iron sights to be disabled upon certain actions like holstering the weapon or reloading, then you want to go to base combat weapon shared.cpp and you want to go to the holster function and add disable iron sights somewhere in that function. And you also want to add the disable iron sights function to the default reload function to the drop function to the default deploy function and also the deploy function. There is going to be one exception though, which is the shotgun. 
So for the shotgun, you want to go to weapon underscore shotgun dot cpp, find the start reload function and somewhere inside of that function, add disable iron sights. Now for adjusting the view model when the iron sights command is triggered. So you want to go to base view model shared dot cpp and you want to find the calc view model view function. And just above that, you want to copy and paste the calc iron sights function from the guide and then you can copy and paste the calc view model view function from the guide as well and paste replace the function that already exists in that section of the code and then you want to go to base view model underscore shared dot h and somewhere in that file i guess close to the calc view model view function declaration you can add void calc iron sights passing through a vector and pause, and then a Q angle and ang. And for single player mods, there is one important thing you need to do at this point, which is to go to base combat weapon shared .cpp and go to the enable iron sights and disable iron sights functions. And you want to comment out the very top lines about if exclamation mark prediction, because basically prediction is only used in multiplayer mods. It's not used in single player mods at all. So you can essentially delete or comment out that section of the code because it's going to cause some issues. But for multiplayer mods, you want to keep that. Now there is a section of the guide talking about making the FOV changes happen on the client because currently the FOV changes happen on the server. But I'm not going to go over that. I don't think you really need to actually incorporate that into the iron sights functionality and if you want to adjust the bullet spread when in iron sights mode essentially you can go to something like weapon smg1.cpp find the get bullet spread function and replace it with if m underscore b is iron sighted then create a static const vector cone and set that equal to vector cone one degrees and then return cone and then add an else statement and then leave what is already inside of the function which is static const vector cone equals vector cone five degrees and then return cone. So essentially when you're aiming down the iron sights the accuracy of the weapon increases. That's essentially what that means. Something else you can do is add a custom key bind for the iron sights functionality. So for this, you'll need to get access to the kb underscore act .lst file. You can get that from the source 2013 mod distribution, you know, where that's installed on your system and probably go to the HL2 scripts folder, copy that, paste it into your mods scripts folder. And then you want to add somewhere inside the speech marks toggle underscore ironside. And then in another set of speech marks, I choose to be lazy and just put toggle iron sights although you can do something like hashtag mod underscore toggle underscore iron sight and that would need to be defined in your mod underscore english dot text file and then in other languages if you have your mod in different languages and then if you want to have sounds which i choose not to do but if you want to have a sound play when you go into iron sights and then when you exit iron sights then you can do something like p player arrow emit sound of and then in speech marks whatever sound name for enabling iron sights and then something similar inside of the disable iron sights function you can see what i do in the video but i don't use any actual sounds so if you have sounds then you just want to place them there and so there's going to be a couple more things I'm going to go over. If you want to make it so you exit iron sights when you reload the weapon, then what you want to do is go to the toggle iron sights function and you want to add if m underscore b in reload is exactly equal to true, then disable iron sights. And then in the else statement, just leave what was already there. So for example, if m underscore b is iron sighted, then disable iron sights else enable iron sights as you'll see in the video and the last thing i'm going to get to is making it so you can only enable iron sights for particular weapons so what you want to do is go to the con command for toggle iron sights that would be cc underscore toggle iron sights and then you want to replace the middle section where you actually create a pointer to a weapon that the player has 
and you want to replace that with if p player arrow get active weapon and f class name is and then in brackets p player arrow get active weapon and then in speech marks after that weapon underscore smg1 then two vertical lines to mean or and then do the same thing f class name is of p player arrow get active weapon but then change the latter string to weapon underscore pistol weapon underscore 357 and weapon underscore shotgun so basically you only enable iron sights for the smg pistol 357 and shotgun then inside of this if statement you want to add p player arrow get active weapon arrow toggle iron sights as you'll see in the video and then engine arrow server cmd of inside of speech marks toggle underscore iron sight and then that's pretty much all you'd need to do there. And then inside of the enable iron sights function, one last thing we can do is actually disable the crosshair when in iron sights mode. So inside of the if p owner arrow set fov if statement in the enable iron sights function, you can create a convar called asterisk crosshair, which equals cvar arrow find var of inside the speech marks crosshair and then crosshair arrow set value of zero inside the speech marks and similarly in the disable iron sights function inside of the if p owner arrow set fov if statement create a convar called asterisk crosshair which equals c var arrow find var of crosshair in speech marks and then crosshair arrow set value of one inside of speech marks so at this point you can save compile the code launch into a map and this also does depend on the fact that you have the iron sight sort of key value stuff inside of your weapon script so for example with weapon smg1 when you go to press the iron sight button it will have a bit of rotation and also move the view model and sort of enclose the fov slightly and I found some good values for the 357 and the shotgun. However, for the pistol is a bit more difficult. But with this functionality, there is a convar called view model adjust enabled. And when you set that to one, you can pretty much adjust the convar's view model adjust forward, right, up, pitch, your roll, and FOV and essentially adjust those values to your heart's content until you get the view model in the right place and then you'll essentially need to add those values to the weapon script inside of the iron sight section as outlined earlier and that's pretty much all i need to do for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you found this helpful i apologize if this comes across as a bit scattered the guide was all over the place but hopefully you was able to follow along okay and I explained what you needed to do well enough. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, if you have any issues or if you have any other suggestions. And with all that being said and done, thank you very much. Have a great day, take care out there, peace out and see you later.